YouTube, how's it going? Today's video is covering Allen Robinson, wide receiver from the Jags. He's a free agent. Where might he land? Well, I got some teams on the board that are potential landing spots one by one. I'm going to eliminate some teams until we have the most likely landing spot for him. Uh, be before we start the video, link in the description it brings you to the fan voted mock draft. Uh, we're on to the Giants pick. We already did the Browns pick. We're going to keep going one by one, so make sure uh, to keep voting. We've done plenty of these free agent videos, so check out the rest of those and plenty of mock drafts, team by team mock drafts. So check all those out. Plenty of plenty of action for this offseason. All right, to all these teams. Who am I going to get rid of first for Allen Robinson? Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Cowboys. I have them up there, up here because I believe, not everybody believes, but I believe they need another receiver. I think Allen Robinson is a similar style receiver to Des Bryant. Um, so that's why I'm taking them off the board now. I don't know if they'll have two of them. I don't know if they're going to pay two guys like that. There was some rumors of possibilities that they could get rid of Des Bryant, trade him, maybe cut him to save some space. I don't think that's likely. Um, he did have an off year, but I, I think they keep Des Bryant. Chances are good they keep him. So Cowboys need a receiver, but I'm going to take them off the board first. Um, next, I am going to take off the New England Patriots. Now, I don't know if they even, they'll even take a chance at Allen Robinson. I don't know if they have the cap space for him. I think they have some pretty solid receivers once Edelman's back, but they're all like the similar style receivers. They're quick. They can get open. I think Allen Robinson being that more stronger downfield guy, possession guy, uh, I think I think they can use a guy like that. Yeah, they have Gronk that's like that, but a receiver like that you haven't really seen on the Patriots too much. So I think they can use him, but... Uh, it's not their biggest need, not a ton of cap space, so unlikely he lands there. But, I, again, I, I would like to see him on there, but unlikely. Next, I am going to get rid of the Panthers. They need a receiver pretty badly, I think. He's kind of that Funchess-style receiver. I think Robinson is better than Funchess, but similar to the Cowboys, them, them have, already having a similar-style receiver uh, may, maybe makes it unlikely. I think they missed that Ted Ginn type of receiver. Um, maybe who they're trying to get in Curtis Samuel. So maybe they'll go for a different receiver like that. Maybe they'll be higher on Jarvis Landry or a draft choice. But definitely a possible landing spot. They may make him an offer. We will see. Uh, these other teams, they're all good landing spots. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of the, the Seahawks. I think uh, we discussed them with the other free agents. You know, not a ton of cap room. Uh, can make some good moves. I think really Doug Baldwin being like the only like really solid target that Russell Wilson has. I think they need another one, uh, maybe more of a possession guy, stronger guy like Allen Robinson could really help. Pretty much get any decent receiver for Russell Wilson. It'll help him out. He's got, I kind of feel bad. They 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 haven't really had too many targets running backs or receivers wise for him. So uh, Allen Robinson could be a good player for him, but again cap space. Uh, maybe they go for somebody else, different type of guy. Um, maybe look for one in the draft, but I like Allen Robinson there, but it, I think these other teams are more likely. So we're going to keep on rolling. Uh, the chiefs, uh, another team that I think could be a good landing spot. Um, uh, I'm going to take them off here next though. Not a ton of cap room. Did cut some with getting rid of Alex Smith though. Um, so they could afford, it's not that they couldn't, they can't afford him, but, uh, I don't know, Chiefs are weird. They like their own type of receivers, specific receivers, but uh, I think they could use a guy like this because Tyreek Hill's really their only threat at receiver. He's more that shifty guy. I mean, really can run any route, speed guy, but another one of those teams, like I've been saying, that can use a a possession guy like Allen Robinson. Think, I think they really could use him um, for Mahomes, too. I, I think he would work great with Mahomes, but, um, yeah, do they go all in on him? I think... There's a chance, but most likely not because there's some other teams that can offer them more. Um, out of these teams, these are like the these are like the teams that I really looking at with Allen Robinson. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the the Redskins next, maybe because they don't have as big of a need as the other teams do for receiver. But I really like the fit. That's why the Redskins are up here. I think they need another receiver. Terrell Pryor didn't really work out. I think Al Robinson can be w what they were looking for in him, but I mean, obviously much better as long as he stays healthy. But uh, maybe the need isn't there, so maybe they won't go all in and they just pay Alex Smith. So, I mean, you pay the, the quarterback, you, you need to get him some weapons. So it, it's, there's a chance. I just see a, I saw a big fit there. So that's, that's why I had Redskins up there. Still a possibility. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of the Niners next. Um, they need another receiver. They weren't afraid to pay Garcon last offseason. Uh, pretty good on cap space, even though they paid Garoppolo. But again, similar to other free agents, I think they I think they stick to the to the draft. Build that team in the draft. Um, Garcon, why did they hire that guy? He's a, he's a smart player, very very smart player, good for blocking. I mean, obviously he's a good receiver too, but um, that's the reason they kind of didn't stick to their draft game plan there. Garcon's a very smart football player, can make the other guys better. Um, so, but for the most part, they. The Niners could get a guy like Aaron Robinson, but for the most part, I think they stick to the draft. They build for the future. Could be a good team now, but they want to be a uh, the top team for years to come in the near future, and that that's what you do. That's how, I, in my opinion, that's how you do it. You build through the draft. And I think they're going to do a good job doing that. But got to take them off because most likely, I think they'll do that. They'll take that route. Um, Jags, Bears, Ravens, Jets, these are the four most likely teams, I think. I think the Jets can pay him a lot. Uh, the whole deal with Robbie Anderson, um, even with him, if he's not in trouble, they need another receiver. I'm going to take them off next, though, because uh, I uh, we don't know who their quarterback is. I'm sure they'll figure it out. I'm sure they'll, have, they'll obviously have a quarterback, Allen Robinson. You know, It's not going to appeal to him too much at the moment, but I'm sure they'll get their quarterback situation figured out. But at the moment... I'm going to take them off the board, but they can pay them a lot and they need a receiver, so that's a good landing spot. Poss- definitely a possible possible landing spot for Allen Robinson. Uh, between Bears, Jags, and Ravens, uh, Jags are obviously his current team. They need him back. I would think they're better with him. Uh, made it to the AFC, AFC Championship game without him. They, I mean, he was like maybe one of their better players, so they could have used him. Um, Bears and Ravens, they have a huge need at receiver, giant need at receiver. Um, I think the Bears make, I don't know. I, I want to say the Bears actually could make a push for Jarvis Landry and Allen Robinson. Um, maybe uh, Flacco is a little more appealing than Trubisky. Trubisky's got a bright future, but maybe not right now. Um, and maybe the Bears are a little worried about his injury towards ACL last year. I think he's going to be good to go. Uh, did it very early in the season. I think it'd be okay. No past injuries. But the bear, I could scare the Bears a little bit because they kind of got beat up in injuries wide receiver in the past, kind of unfortunate. So maybe that scares them away. Maybe they're leaning more towards Jarvis Landry, even if they have to pay him more than Allen. Jarvis Landry will get more money than Allen Robinson. But I don't think that'll matter to the Bears. Uh, so I'll take the Bears off next. But uh, they need a, they need multiple receivers bad. So that's why they're they're definitely in the discussion. But the injuries could scare him, and maybe he'd rather go somewhere else. But it's between the Ravens and the Jags. And like I said, the Ravens need a wide receiver pretty bad. Number one wide receiver, Joe Flacco, could be appealing to him. It could be a good fit. But I think the Jags may franchise tag him. And I think other teams may expect that because of the injury. So give him, here, give him a one-year tryout, really. Um, maybe, maybe maybe even the franchise tag is giving him too much money. Maybe it's a little risky. But it's only one year. So that's, that's why it's worth using unless you got... The only way it's risky is if you pass up on using on somebody else. So I think the Jags will do that, and I think other teams will be okay with that. It's a one-year trial. Maybe, maybe we don't. Other teams are saying we don't want to risk it because this guy could get hurt again. So make him be a free agent next year. Um, that could be a good option for a lot of teams. But again, I think the Ravens are a legit team. He can he can land to. Same with the Bears. A lot of these teams. Um, but I, I think he I think he ends up back on the Jags maybe for another year. Even if it's not franchise tagged, maybe he gets like an Alshon Jeffrey contract. Uh, he ended up getting a, an extension, but maybe it's something like that. You know, the injury is scary, but he's a tough player. He's had no big injuries in the past before that. Uh, just a very good wide receiver. So it's un- the injury really cost him a lot of money, so it's unfortunate. But it could be it could be better for him to get the franchise tag because he, ac- he actually can make more or even a one-year deal, not just a franchise tag. He actually can make more money because if he gets a long-term contract now compared to the next year, and let's say he doesn't get hurt next year, which I don't, I, I don't, I hope not, I don't think he will, but it's possible, then he, he'll get more money next year. So it could be, it's, it's very uncommon to have the situation, but it could be better for both the teams and the player for the franchise tag or for the one-year deal, a prove-it thing, and I, he, he'll be very confident about it. So Alan Robinson... Unfortunate what happened to him. Lost some money, but it could it could work out in the long run here. So uh, there's another free agency breakdown predictions video. Plenty more to come. Uh, 
coming Monday. I'm going to have a Giants seven-round mock draft. I'm going to play GM for the Giants. We're going to reveal who the, vo- the fans voted for for the Giants. I'm going to keep going through all the teams for that. That's Monday. Tuesday, um, more free agency videos. Going to potentially do Ezekiel Ansah, maybe Demarcus Lawrence. Some edge rushers there. Edge rushers may be the most important thing in football. So stay tuned for all that. More regular mock drafts, more just off-season coverage in general. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. That'll do it for this one. Goodbye.